What's up guys, Joe Parfenuk here and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to get into one of the most slept on sourcing methods that you can utilize to speed up your manual sourcing. For those who don't know what manual sourcing is, it is simply going to the retail website and finding products profitably manually. But with this method that I'm about to show you, you can get a subset of products that already do well on Amazon and then simply go to the website manually to see if it is profitable there. This method comes really in handy when a big sale comes around so we can take advantage of it quickly. With that being said, let's get into the tutorial to show you exactly how you can do this step by step to make a ton of money when the next sale comes around. And as always, if you got value, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. What's up guys? Welcome to the tutorial portion of the video. So I'm going to show you how you can target certain brands that are on sale at the moment with the Keepa product finder. So you can use the Keepa product finder to get a subset of the best selling ASINs for that particular brand. And now how do we find these sales? So you can do it in a couple ways. Today I'm going to show you Rakuten. Rakuten is the best way to get the hot deals going on for the week. Top Cash Back is another one that does really well with you know the deals that are going on each week. And Sales Gazer is a great third option. That is where you can subscribe to all the websites for online arbitrage's email list. So I covered that in previous videos if you want to go take a look at it. I think I did one about a month ago. And that's super helpful as well. But the focus of today's call is going to be Rakuten. And we're going to find a good sale. And we're going to pull a subset of the best ASINs simply with the product finder. So I went ahead and found a good sale to target. So this is the hot deals. So if you go to Rakuten.com and go to the hot deal section, you're going to see a list of a bunch of sales going on each week. So this works really well with brand website sales and stuff like that. Um, you can also like, for example, with Nike, if champs, we have champs here up to 50% off Nike, you can do it as well. Um, but I really like it when, you know, the site's running like a site-wide sale or certain things are on sale, stuff like that. You can input keywords, like if eyelashes are on sale or eyeliners are on sale or something like that, you can input the keyword there. But I saw something with Mac Cosmetics, last chance sale, get up to 50% off these online exclusives. So also 10% off at Mac Cosmetics looks like a really good opportunity right here. So essentially we are going to one thing you can do also is manually source these sales of course you can go through these products one by one but if there's a ton of products like it seems like there is a decent amount of products here to go through um this definitely works very well for site-wide sales like i said so i'll show you how you can exactly do it and we'll try to compare to see if any of the products that pull up are on this list. So you're going to go to the Keepa product finder. Keepa is $20 a month. You need to have it. Even if you are a beginner, it is essential. You're not going to be able to know what sells without the, the Keepa graphs. So first things first is we're going to do under 100K sales rank. That is my preference. It means it sells around 100 times a month. So that's the 90 day average right here. We're going to set our filters that we want. We'll put Amazon out of stock. You don't have to do this if you're more experienced, but for beginners, I always recommend just putting Amazon out of stock because it makes it a lot easier. So the next thing we'll do is we're going to go down to the offer count and then we're going to input the brand, which is the, the probably the most important thing. So we'll do six sellers to around, let's say 40. On the 90 day average, Mac is a kind of a smaller niche brand. So there aren't super competitive listings out there. So we want to weave out the ones that have like 80 sellers on them. Those are probably tanking. So we'll avoid it that way. So we have six to 40 sellers on the 90 day average. I like to do 90 day or 180 days because three to six months of data, you kind of really need to see a decent amount of history. You can't go by what the current offer count is or the current price is. It could be higher than it was previously. So you want to make sure you're paying attention to that. And I find that going through a three to six month span helps that, you know, limit the risk of tanking and stuff like that. So the next thing we need to do is go by the brand. So we're going to look for Mac.
So here we go. We clicked Mac. There's 5,000 listings. So this should essentially pull a subset of listings that are only Mac Cosmetics. And just to be sure, in case something is lumped in with that, we'll do beauty and personal care. Uh, so only beauty and personal care products show up. I know with Mac, there's a couple different brand listings there. So you want to be careful and make sure you're choosing the right one. Uh, I saw like Mac Auto Parts under Mac Cosmetics, which is the wrong one. That's going to get you in trouble with Amazon. So you want to make sure the listing matches up with the right brand. So we have 200 products now. And if we want to get that down a little bit more, we can do something called the 90 day drop percentage. So this, it depends on how tight you want to make it. Sometimes I'll do 10 to 20% and sometimes I'll do 15 to 25%. Now, what does that exactly mean? We'll do 15 to 25. So this means that the 90 day percentage of the buy box price is not dropping by more than 15% and it is not increasing by more than 25%. So it is holding a relatively stable keep a graph. And that's what we're trying to look for here relatively stable. So if we want to get it a little bit lower, we can make a tighter uh, percentage. So this would be not dropping by more than 10% and not increasing by more than 20. So we got it down to 131 products now. And now we can go ahead and hit find products. So now we have a list of Mac cosmetics right here. So we can go ahead and see, like we know that these are selling pretty well and these are probably online arbitrageable products because we put in the offer count and we put in the sales rank. We did all the filters. So we now have a subset of products that do really well with Mac Cosmetics. And you can see these are all Mac. So we can go look on the website and see what's going on. Looks like they have lip glass. So I've seen that profitably before and matte lipstick. I think I saw that on that list. Yeah, so we see some matte lipstick here. We see a couple ones. So we're gonna wanna click on this one. It looks good. See if you see any matching things from the product search to this. So this, you can see how this makes it a lot more efficient and quicker to go through tons of products. I also see the lip glass. So we can also check that one out. So we see it's 1540 and let's pull up, let's see which one we're going to look for. I'm trying to find the one that I was looking that said matte, matte lipstick. So this one does say, so we're going to want to look for this whirl. So they have it, but it's not on sale. Okay, so it might take, you know, it might take a little bit of time to go through these, but it's definitely a lot easier than going through one by one um, to, you know, have to worry about doing that. So let's see if there's anything else. So there's a Teddy one right here. This is going for $26 right now. And looks like this is a good time to get in because it is recovering from tanking. So let's see, is Teddy on sale? The Teddy one is not. It might just be a couple of these. Might not be all of them that are on sale. You can go ahead and like click on them to see if any of them are on sale. It might just been that one color though. Could have been, I saw a lip glass as well. That was on sale. Let's check out the lip gloss and see which one is 26. So one thing you can also do that I'll show you as a little bonus, you can go to click advanced filter and you can input a keyword. So we could, like we see love child is on sale. We can input the text field love child. And you could try spacing it to see if, it looks like the love child one did not show up. So it's probably not in the subset list. So that's one way you can do that. But let's see if the one that we saw is on sale. Like I said, though, this does work better when there is a site wide sale going on. So like, for example, all these products here will probably be on sale. It would make it a lot easier. I didn't really see any site wide sales when I was in the making of this video, but 
you know, just to show you how this exactly works will definitely help you out when this does happen. So let's look for that lip gloss and then we'll wrap it up here. So here it is. It's called the PRR. Let me make sure that's the right. Okay, yeah, it is PRR. Let's see. Oh, per. That's I said that. I said that like <laughs> I said that's so stupid. It's per. Um, but yeah, not on sale. So if this was on sale, could have been potentially decent. So this is exactly how you can do this in under 10 minutes. And it is super, super efficient, especially when there's a site-wide sale going on. So don't forget this, you know, around Black Friday, stuff like that. When tons of site sales come around, it'll be perfect during that time of the year. So that's coming up real soon in a few weeks, Black Friday. So yeah, hope you guys learned a thing or two from this video. And now you can start to really tackle stuff just by brand specific. And it makes it a lot more efficient when you have sales like this. So yeah, if you got value from this video, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next one.